Do you ever find yourself needing to simply show a model in Unity? Like if you're making a building or strategy game and you want to show the player a preview of an action or show a valid location for an object. If you've ever made something like this before, let me try and guess how you did it. You had a prefab of the thing the player was going to create, but you instantiated it beforehand when the player selected the object. Then switch the material out for something semi-transparent and disabled the collision. Once the player placed the object, you did the opposite of everything you just did for the object to work. This is how a lot of us probably did this or something similar with object pooling, but let me show you an alternative using Unity's graphics class. I won't bore you with the documentation, but this is what it looks like, I'll link it below. We'll be using the simplest function draw mesh to draw a mesh in the scene. You can do this in any script, all we need is a reference to a mesh and a material, then with an update we make a call to the draw mesh function that's in the graphics class. We then provide a mesh, position, rotation, material, and the layer we want the object to be drawn on. Back in Unity, all we need to do is attach the script to a game object and reference a mesh and material. And this would work as is, but you can also use some mouse to world position code if you want the mesh to follow the cursor. If we run this scene, you'll now see that we have a mesh that follows the cursor. And if you have multiple locations for the object to be placed, that's where this approach really comes in handy. We can easily do this by placing the code in a for each loop and pass it a series of transforms to draw each mesh. And I think that's it for this video. If you ever need to display a model, give this a try. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you around.